welcome back to another Andrew Strange Once You Fly video. Today we're traveling on the tilt train from Brisbane to Bundaberg. A journey time which will take four and a half hours if it was the estimate, but we were late. Anyways, well today we're departing from Rum Street to Platform 10. Today we'll be heading out via the Northern Big Loop, up the North Coast Line, all the way up to Bundaberg. Leaving here at Rome Street, Platform 10, this is where all the travel trains depart from. This includes the Spirit of the Outback, that heads from Bristol to Longreach, the Spirit of Queensland, which heads to Cairns, and the Westlander that heads, heads, heads out to Charleville, and also the Tilt Train that heads up from Brooklyn to Rockhampton. So that, today's train I'm travelling on is, is the continuation of the Rockhampton is the continue this train when I get off the train at Bundaberg, this train will continue on to Rockhampton. A journey time which will take seven hours. We leave the Norm B loop at Bowen Hills, converging onto the main line. So let's take a look at the features of the train. First up, we have a tray table, a curtain, and a radio station, seat pocket, and footrest. The radio has the channels and has a channel control and a volume control. Also, it also has control for the reading light, which is bright and powerful, and you can also adjust it. Also, the tray table again. The tray table was dirty, sturdy, but a bit lumpy. So you can change the radio channel and also the volume. May I also point out the radio didn't work. The seat recline is like, mm, what can I say, over the top. Also on the train, there's curtains. Even in the economy class, this train this train also features a business class, which also has the curtain, and it has a wider seat too. So opening the curtain is great, but getting it back in its place uh, was a little bit tricky, I should say. There's also USB ports, which also worked, as you can see by my phone. So let's have a look what's inside there. First off, safety cars. Two sick bags. Who really, who really needs it? A Discover magazine with all the stuff, including your entertainment. The menu, which which also which displays the wine list and the history of the North Coast Line, and all the hot and tasty stuff. Also features, isn't it? Earphones for the radio, which uh, of course didn't work, but it did work on the way back. The toilet was kept nice and clean for the whole journey. Our first stop was Kabucha. After so this was one of the longest bits between stations. The next longest bit would be between Gimp Gimpy North and Merbra. Also, 
Normally, if you're traveling on other travel trains like the Spirit of Queensland, Spirit of the Outback, they will not stop at a little station called Howard, but the tilt train will. Our stop at Caboolture here was brief. To convey passengers who were getting on at Caboolture and leave. From this point on, the, height, the train speed will go up. The maximum speed of this train is 160, but it does hold the Australian rail speed record for 210 km an hour, which means it's the fastest train in Australia, but also the fastest narrow gauge train in the world. And on, and just like and the TV monitors on board, what they're currently showing is a driver cam. It's just like a tail cam on an airplane, but with a camera stick in the cab. Might be a cat cam. However, since the radio didn't work and they played some music along the way, however, I didn't like the option, so I might as well just made up my own. The cornering here, here on the North Coast, this is why they developed the tilt train. Bits of the North Coast line are a bit curvy, so. So it does make sense to build a tilting train along the route. We're now approaching Landsborough, our, thir our third stop. Our second stop, I meant. Our stop at Landsborough was brief to convey passengers. But if but the train won't stop at Landsborough because at, at some selected station. The train will not stop at the station they want to stop because they need to have passengers board the train. Our stop at Landsborough was brief, but we waited a little longer to wait for the spirit of the outback to pass us to clear the single line. Once the spirit of the young back pass, we are on our way. Interesting fact, the North Coast Line has four tracks until Northgate, then it, does, then it goes down to three tracks up to Peachtree, and then two tracks up until Bear Bar, where it goes down to one track, and, and there's also passing loops on, on the way. Platform, may I also point out, Platform 2 of Blasbury is barely used because most trains will go into platform one, but if there was, but sometimes stopping services will use platform two, because platform one is occupied. Our third stop today was Nambour, where we'll be conveying more passengers on on the service. Our stop at Landsborough was brief. Nabble was free. But I may as well show you lunch which we given which we were given after the train left Nabble. Today's lunch was a roast beef with potatoes and vegetables. However, why I say it was absolutely delicious, but the meat the beef was a bit hard to cut. Leaving Nabble we Leaving Nambour, we we head on back onto the single line and and head north towards Bund towards Bundaberg. Just here, which you missed because I did time lapses thing, 
we have to stop here to wait for the southbound truck trying to pass, so we can so we can, so we can clear the single line and for us to head up north towards towards Bundaberg. Our third stop was Kuroi, located located just north of Nambour. Kuroi, Kuroi, just like Landsborough, needs to have some. The train will only stop if they book passengers on this service. Also, the Spirit of Queensland stops here along along with the spirits of the outback. The Barton Karoi, we can. The Barton Karoi, we. We continue to head north towards Bundaberg. We're just about to pass Chatterston, Queensland, least due station. Well, I think. But the City Train Network, least due station. I was there less than a week ago on the day while I was filming this. I was, I was actually there less than a week ago. So I'll pop up a card to the link to the video. We stopped again just before Kimpy North to let this icy, to like this Brisbane bound ICE path heading from Kimpy North. The ICE sets were built in 1988. The tilt train actually replaced them on the Spirit of Capital service. A link, they were also part of the Traps in History video. Which the link will provide. We're now approaching our fourth stop, Gimpy North. Our stop here was brief again, but normally we would stop here for a little while. But I'm afraid we were running late. But there was no option to turn, but there was no option for us to stretch our legs and head onto the platform. Like I said again, stop here was brief. And we run our way. West Station. I do apologise if I can't get footage of the station, but due to social distancing requirements, as, as this was filmed after the COVID-19 pandemic was happening. The platform on, at Maribor was on the left, however, I was sitting on the, on the right, so it was a bit of a problem. So I do apologise if, if I couldn't get any footage of the station. But check out this Spirit of Queensland video because I do have footage of the station. A link will be provided along with it. Leaving Maribor West, we still head north towards Bundaberg as we try to make up time. We also did make a brief stop at Howard, but I'm afraid I did not get it on film.
approaching Bundaberg Station. We arrived, well, what can I say, late. But it's mainly because, because we had to stop for other trains and all of the other stuff. But, and also, I may also point out the last time I was here was actually on the Spirit of Queensland. But it was dark, we were running late too. But we did make up time, make this count on time. Like I said again at the earliest video, a link will be put will be put up to that video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming along with me on this trip up to Bundaberg. This train actually continues on to Rockhampton as the Rockhampton Tilt train. But the schedules are. But also, now is a good time to book your rail trip across Queensland because there's a sale at the time was 60% off, but I think the sale is now 10 The train, as you can see now, is part of Bundaberg Station heading up to Rockhampton. Um, I'd like to thank you, to thank you opportunities for watching this video. Also, a special thanks to Jacob's Trains for giving up his time and filming the train going past Lawton. Thank you for watching. Click here on the left for a video YouTube recommends. Click on the right for a recent video. I actually know it's the opposite. Please subscribe and also check out the photographer and other channel over. See you next time. Bye bye.